All right, so I've got an example of a figurine that I'm going to scan in. So if you want to get nice, clear scans, you want to create a contrasting background so that there's a clear definition between foreground and background. We've got some bad shadows. I'm just going to switch on my light quickly, maybe just to help. This, I'm getting a lot of external light, so just maybe see if that improves things a fraction. Okay. All right, so I'm using a white background to give me good contrast. Okay. So now I'm going to take a series of photographs of this white figurine. I'm going to move the figurine a bit at a time. So I'm going to take a photo, readjust the figurine, take a photo, readjust the figurine. So I'm just going to get him in a good position to start with. And maybe put his feet up. His feet don't want to stay up that well, but anyway, we'll get there. Okay, great. That's good for now. All right, so you need to create a sequence of photos. Okay. Each photo you can make small adjustments. This is a bit of trial and errors. So to retreat, to achieve a good outcome, there might be a couple of steps that we might have to go through. And I want to capture, I want to capture this. I want to capture the whole page so that I can use Adobe's power to kind of snip create a background which it will automatically keep focusing on. Okay, so we've got good contrast, which will help Adobe capture these photos a bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna jump to Adobe Scan very quickly, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scan a complete new document, but I'm gonna take a series of scans, and then it'll stitch it together for me. Okay, so I'm starting a new document, and I'm gonna start taking a series of images, Scan one, put your phone down. So now I'm going to make him move his hand up very slowly. Just remember, I'm doing this quite quickly as an illustration. I'll send, I'll give you some examples, of some of the work from last year as well. So at least you've got some sort of reference. Yeah, you've got to be so careful not to move anything else in this model. And that's fine. And then last but not least. And I'm going to stop there because I can show you there is a way that you can copy the photo so you can change the order. You duplicate the photos for it to put the hand back down. Okay, instead of you moving this back, You've got some images already in one direction. You can just duplicate those images and then bring them back in the opposite direction. So that's what I'm going to do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working through each one of these scans. And you can see the software has actually done a pretty good job in trying to cut it out at the same size. Okay, and what's neat is when I can go and see how accurate it was, I'm happy with that result for now. But just remember, you can fine tune these to meet the correct outcomes. And you can see Adobe's done a pretty good job in finding the corners. No, cancel. It's done a pretty good job in trying to find those corners to put and stitch your um, images together. So I'm very happy with that. That's great. Okay, I'm going to say yes, I'm happy with this information. And I'm going to say save PDF. Okay. You can save as JPEG. So that's what I'm also going to do. I'm going to say save as JPEG. Okay, so it's saved all of those images as well. So if I go to my gallery, hey, look at that. There are all my images. Isn't that great? So I've got my first one, second one, third one. So I've got a PDF now that I can transfer to my and the pdf i'm going to work with as well so i'm going to say i'm going to share this pdf i'm going to say share a copy and i'm going to share this with my to my google drive okay i'm going to move my stuff to my google drive and just remember that last link that we were using and i'm going to say save okay all right this is going to save 
So I'm pretty happy with this result now. So now I can, I've got two options now. I'm going to make a, 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 a GIF on my phone using Google Photos. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my apps. I'm going to go and find Google Photos. Okay, and I go to Google Photos. Now I've got a series of, I might have to go back. Where is my gallery? Should be here. Hey, I'll go back one. Photos. Hmm. Okay, it should be my photos. That's very strange. Okay, maybe they're still uploading. Let me just go back to Adobe Scan and see why my photos are not there. It's in gallery. Oh, there they are there. Okay, it's just in a new folder. Okay, so it's put it on a specific folder called Adobe Scan. So I need to go back into it's good that you do get these technical little glitches from time to time. Google Photos. And I just need to find those galleries and let's go to library and let's go to photos. Where's those galleries in here? Search. I should be just appearing in library. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. So it's in my library section. So photos on the bus. There they are there. Okay. So what you can do is you can duplicate, you can duplicate these images so that you can create a reverse sequence. And what you can also do then is you can renumber the sequence and we can do that online. But I'm just going to use these images very quickly to make a GIF. Okay. All right, now that I've got these images selected, I'm going to go and click this plus button and all of a sudden you're going to have an option where you can say I want to animate this. So what it'll do, it'll create an animation and now you can see my, my GIF and you can share this GIF. So I might have to zoom out. Let's go back to photos. Let's go back to camera and there's my GIF.